Hey, hey, uh, welcome to yet another super exciting episode of of doing fun things in City of Heroes and doing some learning some new things together. Today we're going to talk about teleportation powers because they're very, very handy for getting around. Uh, so we're going to we're going to work on those together on this new character that I have here. Um, little farming farming tune that I'm making up. Uh, but uh, this character does not have the the travel powers uh, unlocked. So there's numerous uh, travel powers. And the biggest one that we usually want to get pretty early on is the teleportation uh, power that allows you to basically go anywhere uh, and whatnot. Usually once you unlock your your first long range teleporter, it'll show up over here in the in the corner and there's uh there's a couple of ways to unlock long range teleporter uh the main one that you use to basically that allows you to warp to any zone uh the first way is to sit here in pocket d for one hour while you're logged in online and since i spent a lot of time here this one has already been unlocked on this character and that was that was that was a pretty much a done deal another way from what i understand i've not done this myself is you can go to Atlas Park. Uh, let me go to Supergroup Base, and then I'll use the Supergroup Base to go to Atlas Park. That's what I'll do. We have a Supergroup Base that allows us to teleport. Supergroups can definitely be a nice way for getting around as well. But we'll teleport over to Atlas Park. So one of the ways uh, to get this teleport is to is to get all of the exploration badges in Atlas Park. Now, for those of you who don't know, this game has badges that are they're uh... boy, <laughs> I'm just drawing a blank at the moment. But they're basically the uh, a system for um... holy cow! Do not get old. I cannot remember what these things are called. They're for achievements. It's an achievement system. For those of you who are familiar with PlayStation achievements, Steam achievement, it's an achievement system built within the game. Um, and sometimes, occasionally, you get rewards outside of just saying, hey, I've got these badges. There's people who spend their whole time chasing the badges in the game, and there's different types of badges. And one of them is Exploration Badge, uh, which uh, you get by finding certain points of interest around uh, the world. You, sometimes when you're fighting bad guys, they will leave you a tip, and that tip will lead you to an exploration uh, badge. So we'll, 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 we'll find there's one beginning one usually right here inside of, of City Hall, so I can go into that one here. Let me grab that guy here. Whoop. If I could jump up there. Grab into here. And there's one right here on the ground. You can see it when you get close. It looks like this little thing right there where mouse is at. That guy right there, you'll see badge earned. Okay, so I've got one of the uh, the badges in this area. There's like eight of them. Uh, so if you get all eight, you'll unlock the teleportation. Furthermore, for every area that you unlock all of the exploration badges in, you will earn an extra uh, five merit rewards, which can be exchanged, as I've mentioned on another video. That's worth well over a million, million and a half, really, of influence right there just for exploring around. Now, these things can be a little hard to find, but thankfully, we have Wiki to help us out. So I'm going to show you the homecoming Wikipedia page here. Let me turn on this monitor. And you're going to see uh, this is from the homecoming Wiki, and it has all of the locations uh, for these. These are the XYZ coordinates, which could be a little bit hard to find. There's a way you can use the uh, forward slash LOC command to basically kind of get an idea of where you're at in relation to these things. But thankfully, they have these easy little copy and paste links. So you can copy this link here, just hit this copy button here, and then go back to the game and paste that link here into uh, the chat. And what that does is it puts a thumbtack to tell you where that thing is at. Now, before I go and chase that down, uh, I uh, make sure you grab the flight power if you don't have it, the jetpack. Uh, you you can buy jetpacks from if you don't already have a travel power, uh, and you really need fly. It helps to have fly, honestly, uh, for this type of thing. So if you took jump, if you took super speed, or you don't have a power, I really suggest you come here to the the P2W field agent, show me your wares, and then go to prestige powers and uh, go to travel and 
no, not, I'm sorry, not prestige powers, temporary powers, travel, uh, and then there's some jetpacks here, and they're only 5,000 for 30 minutes, and 5,000 is chump change to us, so buy a whole bunch of that up. So with flight unlocked, we can easily fly over to the thumbtack, which is lit up on our menu right here. It's also going to be in the HUD, which for some odd reason, my HUD is missing. We'll turn that back on. There it is. Put a thumbtack there. Uh, I think we'll turn that off so I don't have so much brightness on the screen. And we'll just look for the thumbtack, which should be... Well, I'm a little confused as to where it's at for just a moment. Let me get some perspective here. I think I'm a little too close. And also, you can zoom in on the map. You remember with that sliding bar, you can make the map bigger. So it's a little bit easier to identify stuff. And you'll see it right there. Now, I think that means it's indoors. I think that's the thing. This one is actually indoors. Uh, that's why I'm getting a little confused. Some of the, the Atlas Park ones are actually inside of City Hall here. So we'll go ahead and grab this one indoors. Now, you'll probably notice on my mini map, I have little badge markers uh, that actually also kind of make it easy to find some of these badges. That's because I have a plugin. And if you want to see a video on how I got that plugin, and there's my badge right there, I'll be happy to show you that uh, if you'd like on a separate video. But there is an easy plugin thing. Uh, and if you need some help with this, what you can do is you can head on over to our Discord server. I'll put that in the link below. You can join us. Uh, we're on the good server. You can look me up on Discord. I'm at JC Servant, and we'll be happy to, to talk with you. I think that's the only ones inside. I think we got the two that are indoors. We'll go on to the we'll go on to the next one on the list here. I'm gonna keep that window open on my other monitor so I can copy those links over real easy. Uh, and we'll talk while we do this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put up the next one here. And you can see it lights it up really nicely on my map. And I'm trying to fly over there, but... Okay, my character seems to be kind of stuck on the door. This happens once in a while. The game's a little a little janky at times. Uh, and I will not even edit this video. We'll just, we'll just shoot it like it is. We'll go over here and grab that next pair of badge. I think this one's also indoors as well. Might have to go inside the, this little building for this one. The thumbtack's actually leading me to the front door before it leads me to the merit badge. And we'll grab that guy there. Oop, there we go. You can see that little thing on the ground real quick and we head back out. Oh, said it twice. Well, I probably got another badge for something else. Okay. <clears throat> we'll grab the next merit badge here. And we'll put a thumbtack there. And that one's on the other side of town. You'll get used to traveling a bit when you do these. Now, there's some other teleportation powers. A lot of them you can buy from the pay-to-win vendor. You might even be able to buy the, the one I'm showing you today. The long-range teleporter is what we've unlocked or what we're working to unlock here. And, uh, but you, if you just do this, you get it for free. If you just do the plus you're going to get paid because you're going to get merit rewards. So I highly suggest you just take the five, 10 minutes out. You do this real quick and you call it a day. And there it is, the little doohickey on the ground. You can see it there, but there's the badge earned. We'll go on to the next one. Now, the thing about this, and I'm pasting the next, uh, next link here. The thing about this guy is uh, the teleportation, long range teleporter, is it will only allow you to teleport to areas you have been to before and have unlocked a, a an exploration badge. So if you get a mission to go to a different area, say, let's say Perez Park, and you try to teleport there and it's grayed out, it's because you haven't unlocked it yet. So you need to physically go over there through the subway system or running over there, whatever it may be, and there's that badge. Um, and and uh, and then hit one of those exploration rewards while you're there, and then that will unlock it on your teleporter. There's a couple of pretty expensive teleporters that the pay to win. There's a mission teleporter that once every three minutes will take you to the door of the next mission you're on. Now that's a rather long cooldown. That's certainly true. 
but it is very, very convenient. And later on, you will have so much money, especially if you're following one of my other videos on how to make money, that you're not that that that's not going to be a big problem for you. Okay, I think I got that one. Is this the one I just did? I think might be. Yeah, that's the one I just did. Let's move on to the next one. Atlas Park. Uh, that one's inside. I think I already got that guy there. So let's move on to the next one. This one's in the front, right here. Now this thumbtack is way for this. Is why I say flight is very handy, because this one's right on the top here, right there. That little guy right there. And then, uh, let's see here. There is another one. In, is there a third one inside I didn't get? Oh, it's on the top here. It looks like it's inside, but no, on the map. But that's why I use thumbtacks, because thumbtacks will, will tell you. Now, if you look at my chat here, it says you have earned the Atlas Tour Guide Badge. You have received five units of reward merits. Now, like I said, this character already had fast travel unlock or fast range teleporter unlock, but if she didn't, that, that little trip right there would have done it. And it took me not very long at all. So that is how you do that. And then you can hit long range teleporter now. Uh, you can drag this to your toolbar, I should say, and hit that button there. And you'll see it'll come up with a list now. A lot of these are locked because this is a new character and I haven't unlocked these areas yet. But I can go to Pocket D very conveniently. And along with the Oro Boris teleporter uh, that I told you all about before, uh, you have a couple of easy ways to get around right from the get-go that didn't really cost uh, hardly anything except for the jetpack. So, and then like I said, later on you can you can come over here, talk to her, show me your wares, and grab yourself some of the uh, bigger teleports if you can afford when you can afford them. I want to say they're worth getting super right away if you have other things you need to get first. But some of these are definitely worth it. Read, read them over. They tell you exactly what they do. And a couple of them are worth 10 million. Um, I would say my personal favorite is to get early on is the base transporter. Let you go back to your base really quickly, especially if your base has a lot of teleports to other areas. The mission transporter is one of my favorite. And then later on, I'd like to get the team transporter. That allows, us, that allows me to take the entire team over to the, to the mission area. So I hope this video helps you. Uh, like I said, I would love for you guys to join our guild. We're on the reunion server. Uh, we're called Good, G-O-D. Uh, you can look me up. I'm at JC Servant on Discord. I'll get you into the guild Discord channel and get you over into the guild. Or you can come to reunion, look me up. I'm at Wildlight, uh, W-I-L-D-L-I-G-H-T, spelled just like it sounds, Wildlight. And we'd be happy to get you into the guild. We do daily activities every day, uh, farming runs uh, to help level up your characters and earn lots and lots of money, as well as running task force and such every day. Uh, but if there's another video you would like to see, please leave some comments down below. And by the way, thank you guys so much. I've gotten lots of great comments about these videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.